Hello friends, Buffer Kid back again World of Warships and tonight has been a very, very good night for me. Uh, in this video I just wanted to show that I have grinded my way to tier 10 finally. I have been playing my, my USS Iowa tier 9 battleship all day today and been building up the ship XP honor and the free XP grinding my way towards getting a tier 10 battleship now if you remember my my public test server video where I was testing out the Montana I had commented I couldn't wait to get this ship on the live server World of Warships well I just completed one last battle here and I have built up enough ship XP and free XP to research the Montana, the Tier 10 United States Battleship. And I have more than enough credits to get her, so that's what I'm going to do in this video is research the Montana and buy her for my port, add her to my fleet, and then also to spec her out how I want. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and click on this. As you can see, research Montana, 247,000 ship XP, so here we go. Confirmation, yep. 163,217 ship XP and 83,783 free XP. Yes, we do. Now my Iowa has earned elite status. So now, so now the ship XP can be converted to free XP. So we'll go ahead and close that out now. Okay, and then now I've gotten Elite status. Oh, I also have it for the Montana, which is also cool. So this is this is awesome. So we're gonna go ahead. It's twenty million eight hundred thousand credits. So here we go. Now I don't know if I want to get a commander because I think I want to move the commander off my Iowa. I could. I guess I probably could just get the commander. Okay, I'll just go ahead and get that. I don't need the ship slot, so here we go. 20,807,500 credits, so here we go. So here we are. The Montana. Oh, this is awesome. Ever since, ever since trying this ship on the public test server, I've been wanting her so bad because she is just so awesome. Now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to spec upgrades. So that's one thing I'm going to do off camera is, is spec her upgrades, which I have more than enough credits to, to get the upgrades for her. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's see, ammunition consumables. I'm definitely going to go with the, definitely going to get a catapult fighter. So we're going to do that. And we're going to go ahead and just equip just these consumables because since I have Missouri I run premium consumables anyway now we go to the exterior here gonna equip the flag I'm definitely gonna put the Pearl Harbor 75th anniversary flag US battleship have to have it and for the camouflage, the Montana's camouflage is 5,000 doubloons, as you can see. Well, I currently don't have 5,000 doubloons. I'm going to have to get some. So, probably for the meantime, I'm probably going to equip the Restless Fire camo. I've got about 119 of those. Especially if I move my Iowa commander over to uh, the Montana. So, yep, here. Oh, this has been so awesome. It's been a bit, been a long day for me grinding this ship, grinding it the free XP on, on uh, the operate weekly operation Aegis. Uh, taking another ship into that battle. I, as you can see, I do have the Perth. I'm going to talk about that in another video. And also grinding the free XP on the Missouri and the credits to get the Montana and finally research her as well as 
grinding on the Iowa all day to get this ship so definitely glad to have it I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spec it out and get it built how I want and hopefully you'll have a video of me taking the Montana into its first battle so thanks again guys for watching this is buffer kid saying be cool and see you and see you around in world of warships take care